people. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, hope everyone is good. Good morning to everyone, wherever you're at in the world. Hope you're doing well. Now, listen, man. Um, consider this video, you know, I'm, I'm going to call this video a serious message to Tiafima Lopez, an honest message to Tiafima Lopez. Because I really feel like, you know, he's going through a lot of stuff. Don't know how to handle it. Um, and I wanted to just offer my little two cents on what's going on with him. So apparently, you know, Tiafima Lopez has been going on social media posting all kinds of crazy stuff. Like yesterday, he had two tweets. He said, uh, my career is going great, but I'm falling apart slowly. After, uh, but, but before he said that, he said, maybe, maybe when I'm gone, they'll appreciate me. Then he put something on his story where he said, my parents are my burden. I understand now, Kobe, RIP. Now, so it's, it's, it's kind of, it's not fun to hear him talk about these kind of things, but he's talking about them. He's mentioning them. And a lot of people are questioning, you know, what is T.A. Lopez's uh, mental state of being, right? Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it honest. But I'm coming from a place of love and understanding, but I'm also gonna keep it honest too. So that I'm, I'm gonna be balanced when I say this, okay? So I'm gonna give Tio the bad first, all right? Because we'll get that out the way. So Tio Fimo, like, and by, by, mind you, before I get into what I'm gonna say, this, this, is, this is coming from someone that has um, been uh, from, from South Florida, from the same place you're from, who has been following you for a long time, who has a great understanding of your boxing career, and, um, Really don't have anything bad to say about him. If anything, he's been a, he's been a big inspiration to a lot of people in the South Florida boxing community um, for what he's achieved in the sport so far and what we hope he can still achieve moving forward after the George Cambosos uh, fight. You know, the first loss of his professional career. But listen, Tio, you know when you were on top, when you were on top of the world, when 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 you actually uh, beat Lomachenko and you were doing your thing and you had all the belts, you know. The reality is this, you did talk a lot of trash. You did, you know, come from a place of extreme arrogance at times. So people were preying on your downfall. They were hoping you'd flop and you did when you fought George Cambosos. And then when you lost to Cambosos, you you had a hard time accepting defeat, which is which is okay. It's fine. It's it's it, you're not the first fighter that 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 uh, had a hard time accepting defeat on the night of a fight and you sure as hell won't be the last, but keep in mind um people people had a lot to say pe pe people were waiting for you to lose and when you lost you didn't handle it gracefully so um of course you're going to be under a lot of criticism so you're not you're not you're not you're not devoid of that you know but what i will say is this i i don't know i don't know you uh that well we have a couple of mutual friends but i, I met you on a couple of, of occasions um but listen man i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna keep it 100 with you right right now in 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 your life i don't know what's going on but it seems like you know you're really struggling to find out what the meaning of life is like you're struggling to find out what's next how do you you're trying to figure out just how to get to the next day it's one of them times in your life where you know you have it seems like you you, you you've tasted the, the the great things of life like the uh you, you you've had a taste of what some what some of what this world and what life has to offer like you're you have like you so eloquently stated in, in your story you know you got you got bud light you got a bud light sponsorship you got beast by dre you got the tequila well, what life tequila sponsorship you got all these sponsorships you got all this money you got all the status you got all this fame within the boxing world but it don't really satisfy you it doesn't really give you that 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 peace and that comfort that you're longing for and you're yearning for um i don't know what's going on with you and junior junior may might watch this video it's not really my business what's going on but you said your parents are your burden um listen tio i'm not anywhere as close to famous as you i don't have as much money as you don't have any of that stuff i don't have the status like you have i don't i don't really care to have any of it to be honest with you but what I do have and what I know, the only thing that I know for a fact that can truly satisfy, and listen, people watching this may agree, they may disagree, but I'm, I'm, speaking, I'm speaking for myself. In my 
26, nearly 27 years of living on this earth, the only thing I know that can truly satisfy people um, in, a, in, a, in a sustainable and, 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 and an amazing way beyond understanding is, to, to, is, a, is a relationship with not, not just God. I'm not, I'm not going to say God because a lot of people will say, oh, well, God this, God that. We ain't, we ain't just talking about God, all right? The only thing I know that will truly sustain the mind, spirit, and body, and the soul is a relationship and an intimate understanding of Jesus Christ and knowing him and having a relationship with him. This is worth more than money. This is worth more than uh, 100,000 WBC titles. This is, this is worth more than, you know, 10 million pay-per-view buys. This is worth more than any big payday you're, you're gonna get from any promoter in boxing. This is worth more than going to the Hall of Fame. This is worth more than everything. All the, all the endorsement deals that you got and could potentially get in the future, this is worth more than all that. And Tio, like, if I'm you, man, like, if I'm you, you don't got no, from my knowledge, to my knowledge, you don't got no fights coming up. But if I'm you, just like excommunicate social media. Get the hell off social media. Um, because it's, it's a toxic place. It's gonna give you anxiety. And um, take, it, take, it, take it from me, Tio. Take, take it from me. Take it, take it from someone who just, what was it? R roughly seven, eight months ago. Take it from me. You know, I, I didn't want to cover boxing no more. You know, this is the, the, the covering boxing is something that I love doing for a long time. And um, I got to a place in my life where, you know, on a much lesser scale, I had I, I had tasted a lot or, or some of what this world and, and life has to offer. And, you know, at the end of it all, I came to the conclusion. I started to ask myself, what's the meaning of all this? What's the purpose? Why am I traveling to these cities? Why am I going to these fights? What, what, what does it all really mean at the end of the day? What does anything really mean at the end of the day? It's all just pointless. It's all just meaningless. And, you know, then eventually, you know, I, life, life broke me down and God broke me down. And I got to that place. You know, shout out to them dogs. Shout out to them dogs. But life got to me to a place where I finally understood um, why I covered boxing. And, and it gave me a why. So... Stay away from social media, T.O., until you get that why. Because the reality is this, T.O. Your mouth wrote a lot of checks when you were on top. And you, and you said some not so nice things to, like, Deontay Wilder. Like, when Deontay Wilder got, uh, his, had his loss against Fury, you did tell Deontay Wilder to stop being a bitch. Like, you did tell him these things. We, it's there. It's, not, it, it's on social media. It's on YouTube. You know, that, that's not going anywhere. So, of course, people are gonna, people are gonna say the same thing back to you. Tio Fimo, stop being a bitch, you know? And guess what? They're well within their rights to say that because, you know, the reality is you reap as you sow. And, you know, you're, you're gonna reap that from some people. That's just the reality, that's, that's how life works. So that's why you, you, always, you always try to, you, 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 you always try to be kind to everyone and you, don't, and you don't kick a man while he's down because you just never know when you can get to that second place you see what i'm saying so my thing is this to um, like, like i said i don't know you like that we have mutual friends um couple not gonna name them but a couple and um you know i want i want i, I, wa I want to see you get to a place where you, you're you're content in life not because i don't want nothing from you um other than like maybe interviews when i see you but i really don't want <laughs> nothing from you um i just i i just i I, I know what you're going through. I, I know what you're going through because I was there last year. And when when you get to the, when you get to where you're at in life, like right now, nothing makes sense. Nothing brings you joy. You have no peace. You have, you always have anxiety. Um, I was there. So take it from me. Like I, I know. Um. And yeah, like you need to you you need to really straighten these things out. And you really, need, you really need to get these things in order and quick because you're, you're going to 140 and you got a bunch of guys up there that want to take your head off. They want your scalp. They, they're they're going to want your scalp. They're going to want your head on a silver platter and they're going to want they're gonna want to fold you up and beat you up like a blue steel chair because the reality is you are a name in boxing and beating you, even if you just lost to Cambosa, is beating you is going to enhance their reputation. So, like, if you fight an Arnold Barbosa, he's going to want to knock your block off. If you fight Jose Cepeda, he's going to want to knock your block off. It's just the realities of the world, T.O., but, Mom, um, I've been rambling for a while here. I'm saying all this to say, um, take this time to really get to know who the Lord is. And look, if, if you see this video, T.O., I'm very easy to reach. I'm very easy to find.
we could talk you know i'm not i'm not i don't want nothing from you i just know where you're coming from and i and, I, and i've been there recently so i understand 100 percent. and truthfully sometimes i still get to that place sometimes i still get to that place where i'm like man you know what what's the meaning of all this why am i why am i doing what i'm doing god why am i here but you know what uh, i've learned how to deal with it and i've learned how to uh lean on him for for, for everything and and it's given me a peace uh, that i have never had in life um over the last like eight months or so so yeah with that being said yeah t from lopez posts all kinds of stuff on social media to seek seek and you shall find seek the lord with all your heart and you'll find him when you least expect him just don't give up don't get discouraged and uh don't look for don't look for any joy or any satisfaction in this world because I'm, I'm gonna tell you to and i'm gonna tell anybody I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell anybody watching this video if you're still here after nearly 11 minutes i'm gonna tell anybody any and everybody watching this video if you're looking for any joy in this world alone I'm, I, I, let me be the first to tell you it's not it's not gonna give you any satisfaction money isn't gonna give you satisfaction i mean how many people you know with money millionaires millionaires uh billionaires you know all you know people with all kinds of money they got all the all the stocks all the assets all the rental properties all the real estate they got everything you could want from money standpoint how many people do we know in this world that have had all that and still off themselves plenty uh, you could have all the money you can have all the status you could be famous you could be revered and loved and 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 and, and you know idolized by millions upon millions of people but how many people that have these things do we know still take their lives or still aren't happy or still don't have that satisfaction it's a lot you know you could have you could be a beautiful person physically attractive look look, look at the girl from um what's it called look at that girl the, the miss miss usa girl or the miss I, I forgot what she was she was miss usa or miss north carolina she just jumped off a damn building in i think it was in new york city so even that even that don't satisfy you the only thing that can satisfy anybody and I'm speaking as much as I'm speaking to you guys, I'm speaking to myself because I've wanted, I, I, I've, I've yearned for money, like I've yearned for status, I've yearned for a lot of things that this world has to offer. But, but as I've gotten just a little bit of it, I only need a lot of it to know this. Just as I've gotten a little bit of it, just as I've been granted a little bit of what I thought would satisfy me, I come to realize that that alone won't satisfy me. And without the Lord, without God, without a, a, a intimate relationship with Jesus Christ, I knew, and I found out that. It was just gonna do. It was only just gonna ruin me. It was only gonna ruin me, and it was gonna make me an extremely depressed and sad person. So I'm saying all that to say, Tio, that you only have one answer, and I'm giving it to you. Um, I'm giving it to you, and I hope you. Uh, I hope you see this video. So with that being said, you guys take care. God bless. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here, boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God bless.